Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. So I may not have plumber's crack because I'm not a plumber by trade, but I do have a problem with floor layers crack and a maintenance man crack and whatever else you want to call it. I've got a problem with my pants falling down sometimes on the job, which the main reason why is because I'm one of those that doesn't have a butt. Now I wasn't going to make this video because I bought these a while back. I've been using them for a while and in no way did I buy them with the intention of I'm going to buy these so I can make a video because it's not really a tool by no means, but this has made such a difference in my work life, in my job life, that I wanted to share it with you guys because maybe some of you out there have the same problem as me, and no matter what belt you try, over the course of the day, it loosens up enough or it does something to where your pants, you're sitting there pulling your pants up all day long, tightening your belt, all those things. I have not had to do any of that since I have swapped to these belts. And these are the Groove Life belts. Maybe you've heard of these. Maybe you've seen different versions. There's, other, there's also other options out there that are similar to this, but I've not tried those, so I can't recommend any of those. I would recommend these. Now, these are expensive. They're going to run you 64 bucks just for one belt. But then I bought the two-pack because it was $99. I went ahead and just said, I'm going to gamble that I'm going to like it. And at worst case scenario, it's going to be as good as my other belts, but it's going to last a lot longer. So even though it's $65 for one or $100 for two, if I think about it, how much money have I spent on regular belts over the years that I've had to throw away? I might buy two, two belts a year, two or three, and that's going to equal out to, even if I only spend 20 bucks a piece on those, that's $40, $60, you know, depends on how many you go through. And this has a 94-year money back guarantee it says now obviously i haven't had mine for very long i haven't had one tear up i haven't had to do a warranty issue i haven't had anything like that but they supposedly will replace them if you break them lose them do whatever that's what they say now whether again maybe you guys out there have some of these you can let us know in the comments below if you've had to warranty anything or if you've had an issue with yours let us know how that's worked out for you but again you're going to pay 65 bucks for a belt or $100 for two belts. But if you get a warranty for life and it's actually good, then I would end up spending more over the course of time for these. If these fit and work better and all those sorts of things, I think it's well worth it. So I've tried in the past many different belts uh, and I've thrown most of them away. So I don't have any of those really to show you. But, you know, if you get you a leather belt and I'm again, I'm a person who fluctuates in weight. So I adjust stuff like crazy. Uh you know, your, your holes end up stretching out over time. Your belts end up looking like this. You end up throwing these away. They, they go bad. Uh, I've tried the kind where you get the, the holes solid all the way in the one so that maybe I've got more adjustment and then therefore I won't poke a hole in my belt. It's not going to work as well as what they're supposed to. Tried those. They don't work for me. I've tried the kind like you used to have in the Boy Scouts where you slide this through, you tighten that up, and that gives you full adjustment, you know, wherever you want to put it at. Those just don't work because the bottom line is over the course of the day, when you get up and down off of your knees and do those things, then your belt adjusts itself. It opens up just a tad when you move, and then it might slide down a little bit. Then the more you do that over the day, next thing you know, you've got plumber's crack. You've got that showing. So some of the features on this, belt to me that makes it different and makes it nice is that it's got this fabric here i don't know if i can get you to see the stretch that's on it but if i had to describe this maybe you've had a pair of pants pair of dress pants that's got that comfort waist and you know you put them on it's got that little bit of elastic to it even though it's a pair of jeans or whatever it is it has the belt loops it's very similar to that kind of a stretch that you get there it's made out of some kind of a fabric seems extremely durable again i've not had these for a long time and then the real nice thing is it's the way that it opens and closes you have a magnet here you've got two slots and then two pegs and it just i mean as you go to put it together it will basically lock itself i mean there's no nothing much to it it will not come apart i don't care what you do unless you want to take it apart it does you have to basically pull back this other direction pull pull it out and then it comes out because the way these tabs are they kind of reach around and lock that in place so once you basically set your size you don't ever have to adjust it again unless you're a person like me who your weight might change a little bit here and there but then it's a real easy adjustment it's just like anything else 
Another nice feature that I really like about these belts is all your excess, which you could trim this if you want to, but it's on the inside of the belt. And because that's so thin, you don't even really, I mean, that's, that's still thinner probably than the thickness of a leather belt. And I don't even know that it's there because I could trim this and move this up. But to be honest with you, I like just keeping it because who knows when I might need that one day. I'm Hopefully I won't need all of that. But I might need some of it, so I'd like to be able to have it and keep it. So I just left it on there. They have these in different sizes. I got a large, which was uh, like 37 to, I want to say 40. And I typically wear a 36, which was on the top end of a medium. So I decided I'm going to go with the large. And that's how much extra that I have with me being on the bottom end of the size. So you just have to figure that out yourself. But let me show you me putting this on. And again, using it with my MP1, I have never had a belt where I could put my MP1 on it because normally I will even put this on just a separate tool belt altogether so that it's not pulling my pants down. And now I don't have to do that. I can put this MP1 on the Groove Life belt that's already in my pants, just snap it around it. It's never pulled down my pants one time. So I really like it. So let me show you that. You can see that this belt is an inch and a half. Uh, so it fits in most belt loops that you're going to have extremely nice. I haven't had a pair of pants yet that I haven't been able to get this through. Uh, maybe there's some pants out there that's a little bit smaller belt loop that won't work for. The belt buckle, a little bit big for my taste, but it's not overly big. It's kind of a medium-sized belt buckle. That just depends on what your preference is. But again, to put it together, it's just as simple as doing that right there. And the, the fit is extremely tight. I mean, I can feel it. But it's comfortable because it's got that elasticity to it that allows it to give you that stretch and that move. Again, if you've got a pair of pants that has belt loops but also kind of a little bit of elastic, that's what it feels like to me if I had to explain it. So it works super nice. And the fact that it's wanting to constrict is the reason why, you know, if you do a lot of bending over, your other belt is going to open with that little slot or whatever it is, just a slight amount, and your pants are gonna slowly work itself down. That's why you find yourself fighting all day, pulling your pants up and down. I have not had to do that with these. And then even more so, it is the only belt that I've ever worn where I can take my MP1. Normally I would take my Klein Tools belt, slide it through here and wear a whole nother tool belt on top of this. So then that makes me have to keep up with that. Well, now I can just take this if I want to, and I still may wear it the other way because sometimes that's just easier. But I can take and slide this up and under that belt, bring it over, snap that in. And again, it does not pull my pants down. I have wore this before for probably four or five hours in a day, and I didn't have to adjust my belt one time. With any of my other belts, like the ones I've showed you, I would have to constantly pull my pants up like this, pull it maybe another notch over or whatever it is all the time to be able to use this. I have not had to do this with the Groove Life because again, it's just constantly keeping my pants as tight as it needs to be, but I still have that flexibility to move to where it's not gonna sit there and fall down over my no butt all the time. It's not been an issue for me. That's why I can't say enough about this Groove belt. That's the Groove Life belts. Again, it may not be useful to any of you. You all may not have a problem with the belts that you're using. You may have the body type where a belt holds up your pants, no problem whatsoever. But maybe you're like me and you've had issues and you've never had a, what you feel like is a good belt. I really recommend this so far. Again, I've had it for a couple months now and I have not had one issue of my pants coming down, whether it was just in general or wearing a pouch like my mp1 uh, so i think it's phenomenal again you can get these on amazon i'll put a link in the description you can get a one pack two pack they've got all sorts of other different you know uh, buckles colors all sorts of stuff that you can get it's a lifetime warranty you buy it on amazon it's got prime free returns if you don't like it send it back but again i'm just trying to be helpful maybe y'all have the same problem as me hope it is helpful to somebody out there you guys stay safe, have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.